So after all that, you're going to be surprised to hear that I'm extremely optimistic that we can make this change. The hope for change comes from two big picture facts about our world, its history, and where we are now. The first great hope that we can overcome might makes right for resources is that through history, humanity has overcome might makes right in other areas many times before. And in fact, these are some of the greatest moral milestones in human history, the kinds of things you would teach to a child about the high points of our achievements. 300 years ago, might makes right was the international rule for almost everything, including human beings. Back then, the world's rule for humans was whoever can seize them by force can sell them to us. And that was the rule under which the European empires forced 12 million Africans through the gruesome Middle Passage where the survivors were legally bought as property here in the Americas. Might made right. And that's not all. Almost everything was coercion-based in law back then. So back then, if one country could capture land from another country, it got the legal right to rule that land. Think of Poland. If one country could gain coercive control over the population of another country, it got the right to rule that population. That was colonialism. And even within a country's borders, the international rule was that whoever was powerful enough to be sovereign could do almost anything they wanted to to the people. The sovereign could install a racist apartheid government or engage in ethnic cleansing or even genocide. All of those things were legal in international law because might makes right. But look, all of those things we've now overcome. The slave trade, conquest, colonialism, apartheid, ethnic cleansing, genocide, all of those things are now illegal in international law, and we've replaced that old bad order with a new order based on the rule of law requiring individual human rights and the self-determination of peoples. Now, you know that just because we have new laws doesn't mean that we've magically abolished power, right? Our new laws are still broken far too often. But we're on the right side of history when it comes to things like the slave trade and colonialism and apartheid. I mean, think of sexual harassment, right? Sexual harassment used to be legal. We've made it illegal. It still happens far too often, but we are on the right side of history with regard to that issue. We've made all this progress against the international rule of might makes right, but we're still on the wrong side of history when it comes to might makes right for resources, which continues to zombie on in the international system. It's one of the few remnants of that old system, and that's what's causing so much trouble. The big progress that humanity has made in the past 300 years has come from transforming what used to be respectable exercises of violence into widely reviled crimes.